Hi, I'm Binsing Wu, Computational Fluid Dynamic Engineer from Philadelphia Mission Solutions. In this video abstractor, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to large eddy simulation of mechanical mixing in anaerobic digesters. Anaerobic fermentation can convert biomass into biomethane, which is a biorenewable energy. Effective digestion is highly dependent on efficient mixing. Mixing can not only prevent the settling of solids, but also enhance the nutrient delivered from the substrate to anaerobic bacteria. The primary goal of mixing is to create an optimal physical environment that favors the bacteria grow up. Generally speaking, mixing can be studied using particle image velocimetry, which is an optical method of flow visualization. Here I show you the PIV set up in our company lab. My co-work, Jason Giacomelli, is in charge of all the PIV testers. And there are three major components for uh, this PIV test. Laser used to light up the solid particles inside the tank. The camera takes the pictures. And the computer shows you how particles move. PIV test is good for small mixing tanks. However, it is unsuitable to the medium mixing tank and large mixing tanks. Here is the largest mixing tank with 750,000 gallons. Let's take a look. Here are four small scale mixing tankers with four different impeller types. We can observe highly turbulent flow inside the tank. Alternatively, mixing can be simulated using computational fluid dynamic technique. Basically, the turbulence simulation method includes direct numerical simulation, large eddy simulation, and the Reynolds average Navier Stokes simulation methods. In this study, the following three sub grid scale models were used in the LES simulations. In terms of characterization of impeller rotation, we can use multiple reference frame method and the sliding mesh method. CFD simulation was conducted in a mixing tank. In this tank, the impeller has only three bladders and no baffles were used. So one third of the mixing tank was used to the computational domain. In the pre-processing, how to generate a high-quality mesh is the key. The flow patterns in the LES simulations are very complex. They change with the time, even at the same location. These patterns are supposed to be identical for a range simulation. In the LES simulation, for monitors were instantaneous velocity, mean velocity, impeller torque, and impeller flow rate. Especially, the impeller torque exhibits a high frequency oscillation. The simulation results show that for the subgrid scale models 
produce almost the same flow patterns. Validation of LES simulation was performed using mechanical agitation, both Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids in the mixing tanks. Additionally, six RAMS models were used to compare with the LES model. In addition to the flow patterns, the impeller power and flow numbers are two important parameters used to evaluate the LES performance. Comparisons of nine results indicate that the LES with kinetic energy transport model performed the best, but it took the longest time to obtain one solution. In conclusion, LES is an excellent turbulence modeling method, but it still has limitations for industrial application due to its high computing costs. Using the embedded LES, which combines the LES and the RANS model, we are able to simulate mixing in large anaerobic digesters. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video enhances your understanding the paper published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering.